This is onde onde or glutinous rice balls and aren't they just so cute? This beloved Southeast Asian dessert is soft and chewy on the outside and when you bite into it is a burst of yummy caramelly syrup. Ugh, it's a joy in every bite. I'm going the extra mile here and doing three different versions. Spoiler alert, they're all really easy and yummy and look super good. So uh, let's go. The first version is the version that I make the most often. Sweet potato onde onde. Cause you can use purple sweet potatoes to get the purple onde onde and it's just super pretty. I mean look at this. First, there's some steaming to be done. This is grated fresh coconut. They're usually sold ready to eat but I like to just steam them just to make them even softer. I'm laying it over some pandan leaves or screw pine leaves. Now the pandan will impart a really nice fragrance to the coconut but it's totally optional. And then sprinkle some salt over just to add a little bit of taste to the coconut. Then steam this for a really short while, about 5 minutes or so, just so it gets rehydrated and all nice and soft and our topping is ready. You want to let the coconut cool completely. Next, our sweet potatoes. I have some purple sweet potatoes here. You can use whatever colored sweet potatoes you like. We don't discriminate but give it a quick rinse and you want to let this steam for about 20 minutes or so or until it is fork soft tender. When your sweet potatoes are ready, you want to let it cool before peeling the potatoes and then mashing it with a fork or you can just use a potato masher like I am right here. To the mashed sweet potatoes, add glutinous rice flour. Combine the two ingredients together first and then gradually add water. You want to gradually add water because there's actually moisture in the sweet potatoes already so you don't actually need much extra water. And if you added too much water then no problem, just add a bit more glutinous rice flour. This is why I love to make onde ondes, it's just so foolproof. Continue to knead until you get a dough that does not stick to the sides of the bowl or your hands. This is good dough. Okay, next, the all-important filling. So you have to use coconut palm sugar or gula malaka for this. It's just irreplaceable. If you have the gula malaka blocks, then do this. Don't shave or crush your gula malaka. Instead, carefully chop little chunks of the sugar just like this. This is the only way I make onde onde and is the best tip ever. When you cook the balls, it melts just the outer portion of the gula malaka, leaving a little nugget of crunchy gula malaka right in the middle. Okay, let's make some onde onde. Tear off a piece of the dough, just this much or just about a tablespoon worth if you want to be precise. Roll the dough in between your hands to form a ball. Then placing it in the middle of my palm, I use my thumb to form a depression in the middle. Just flatten the dough but not too thin otherwise it will break easily and the palm sugar will leak when you cook it later on. Then scoop some of that palm sugar or gula malaka and add that to the middle of the dough. Then seal it back. To seal it back, I would simply pinch the dough back together so it forms an almost gyoza shape. Then roll this dough in between your hands and a round shape will form. Once you've rolled up all of your balls, we are ready to cook. Cooking this is so easy. You want to get a pot of water boiling and then this is optional but I'm going to add more of that pandan leaves. Once the water is boiling, drop the balls in gently and let that cook. You don't want to use a high heat for this by the way. You want to lower it to a medium so that the water is just very gently boiling. Can you see how pretty and purple this is? Anyway, once the balls start to float, give it a couple more minutes to cook in the boiling water and then take it out of the water. Immediately drop the cooked balls in the steamed grated coconut and roll it to coat so the onde ondes do not stick to each other. And our pretty purple sweet potato onde onde is done and ready. This is the more traditional version of the onde onde and requires no sweet potato. In fact, it's super minimal requiring just 5 ingredients. 
First, we gotta make that pandan juice. These are pandan leaves. You know that now. You wanna give it a wash and cut it into little strips just like this. And then pop this in the blender. Add water and then give this a whirl and you should get a mixture just like this. Strain the mixture to remove the pandan leaves and fibers so that you get this pandan juice. To the glutinous rice flour, add the pandan juice that we strained earlier. If you don't have pandan leaves, then it's not a problem at all. You can also just use pandan essence and then get to kneading it. Once your dough does not stick to your hands, you're good to go. Pinch off a piece of dough, roll it first, flatten it to make a hole and drop some of that gula malaka right in the middle, seal it back and roll to form a ball and keep that to one side. The steps here are the same pretty much. Make sure the balls have no cracks. Run the cracks over with wet fingers and the dough should form over the cracks. You want to make sure there are no cracks or else the sugar will leak when it melts. Get that pot of water gently boiling and then drop the onde ondes in. You would notice that this is a pale green, quite unlike the bright green onde ondes that you buy at the shops. Because guess what? That's all food colouring. There's no way to get such a bright colour with just the pandan juice, okay? But I mean, this is pretty too. Did I say pale green? I meant um a pastel green. Pastels are aesthetic. Once the onde ondes float, let it hang out for a couple more minutes and then take it out of the pot. Roll it in the grated coconut and the pandan onde ondes are done. How quick and easy was that? The last onde onde would be a butterfly blue pea onde onde. This is a pure experiment on my part, okay? So I tried this out because I have a surplus of these butterfly blue pea flowers at home. First, let's extract the blue food coloring. Super easy. Add the dried butterfly blue pea flowers to a bowl or a cup and simply add warm water. Allow the flowers to steep for about 10 minutes or so and then strain the liquid to remove all of the flowers and ta-da! We've got blue food coloring all natural making the onde onde here is just gonna be the same to a glutinous rice flour add the butterfly blue pea water that we made earlier and then knead that to a dough Butterfly blue pea flowers don't really have much of a taste by the way. If you want to, you can add a couple drops of vanilla essence or that pandan essence and a pinch of sugar. But I'm more than okay with the plain dough because the bulk of the flavor comes from the delicious gula malacca. Anyway, once your dough does not stick to your hands, you're good to go. Same thing here, tear off a chunk of the dough, roll it to a ball, flatten it with your thumb in the palm of your hand to create a nice little hole and add the gula malaka in. Seal it up, roll it back to a ball and smooth over any corrects that you might have and your balls are done. You know how this goes, get the water gently boiling and then lower the balls in. Also, can you see how pretty this blue is? Oh my god. Once the onde onde floats, let it cook a couple more minutes before fishing it out. Roll it in the shredded coconut and oh voila, we are done. And that's all the onde onde recipes that I've got. All so easy and delicious, super fun to make and even more fun to eat. These soft caramel poppers are my favorite kue ever. My favorite is of course the purple sweet potato onde ondes. So excuse me while I take a nice big bite of this. This is so good. So I hope you give any of this a go and bye. If you love this onde onde recipe, you will love this next super pretty rainbow koe lapis recipe even more. So go on now, click.